Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. There are always time stamps in the description box if you want to skip it to the reading itself. Please know that time is fluid, and what that means is this could resonate for you as a past, present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. I do want to let you guys know I have created a monthly membership here on my channel. It is only $1.99 per month. This will give you access to an exclusive weekly twin flame reading for the collective. Below this video, you'll see a join button right next to where you hit subscribe. I'll also leave a link to join in the description box if for some reason you don't see it there. I'm going to read your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. But as this is general, it can be flipped or reversed. No. Okay. And let go under the deck is a uh, heck no I don't think so you don't want to hear it putting your foot down putting your guard up with this person all right let's take a look okay five of cups yeah there's something you may miss this person in some ways, okay, to be honest with you, but I feel like you know that this ending had to take place between you and someone. Again, this is general, could be past for some of you. Um, something had to come to a close because there is something better here for you, okay? She looks behind her. What does she see? After she grieves the past, two of cups, new love, friendship, connecting, growth, okay? There was a past situation that very much disappointed you. Yeah, you weren't fulfilled with that, and that's what you want. You want fulfillment. It's like no matter how much you gave, no matter how many cups you collected in this past situation, it wasn't fulfilling you. And I also really feel led to say that, again, some of you, this could be your person's energy. It could be flipped for some of you, okay? It's like no matter how much you collected, no matter how much you did, no matter how much you gave to this... You just weren't getting fulfilled. You were doing all the work. You felt disappointed. You felt, you know, an emptiness there. There was something lacking, something missing, okay? There could be someone here wanting you to kind of give up control here and just allow them back into your life, okay? I don't feel like that's what you want. I feel like you're focused on positivity, new love. Ten of Wands. Because the past was too difficult to keep working on. I mean, you look at this energy, the Ten of Wands coming out with the Three of Pentacles. And look, the Ten of Wands, what does it talk about? It talks about burden, stress, you know, you know, taking on too much, you know, just struggling. It's mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, it's a draining. It is just exhausting. It's exhaustion. I don't know how much more I can keep carrying all this weight. I'm the only one that seems to be contributing to this. I'm the only one that seems to be t doing any work here. Look at this. Here they stand back and they watch. And look who's doing all the work. Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. Now you've got people admiring all the hard work that you're doing. Okay. But are they stepping in to give you a hand? No. They're watching. They're watching you do all of this. They're letting you take on all the hard work and responsibility. They weren't giving. Okay. Um... And for some of you, these are intended for love, but they can resonate in other ways. Some of you, this could be a work situation, family, that kind of thing. What else? Judgment. You make, you're making a decision. Judgment. You're making a decision. Wake up call. No. It, it is a firm no from you. Okay, this is, you know, I don't want anything from the past. The past did not have anything fair to give me, no matter how much I seem to give, to try. You know, it just didn't, didn't deserve the effort, what, how hard you're working. Okay, you've made this decision. It's very clear now. I can't, you're, look at how she's kind of like, she's making, she's blowing this horn sound of the trumpet, looking into this direction, looking at all the pain, disappointment, you know, all the work that you did. You're looking at all that. Okay, so you're looking at everything that you kind of put through collectively into this and never saw reward. So look at that. No. Now, I do want to say this. Because everyone sees this card and they flip out a year from now. Now, this does not mean you won't have healed or be happy or be in a good place until a year's time. That is not what this card means. This A year from now means that you're going to look back in a year's time and go, Wow, so much has changed. So many doors of opportunity have opened up to me. 
this has been a long road of healing but along the way I'm looking back at all the progress that I've made you know how much things have improved little bits at a time and I'm in such a better place now than I was then because you put your foot down and said no to something or someone um, and I also I'm getting like a really split energy of where half of you it feels like this is what you're going through and half of you it feels like this is what your person has experienced and they're closing the door to something very toxic from the past okay let go spirit is saying the past needs to let go of this you know they got to stop trying so hard to kind of come back in here and win you back i also feel like there's an energy of just allowing things to kind of unfold okay allowing things to kind of not needing to have control in everything what is this person thinking queen of pentacles you were that queen of pentacles for them this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn okay you were that person who was dedicated and loyal and honest and hardworking and abundant and resourceful. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, a wife, a mother, husband, father, male equivalent, okay? This is somebody who is the kind of person that you can build a life with. This is a ride or die. This is not somebody who's in and out, inconsistent, you know, in the club in the middle of the night. You know, this is someone who's at home being, a, you know, you know, being a stable respectful honest and not that you can't have fun let me just say that for something no but the queen of pentacles can absolutely be fun right but she has priorities she's very grounded okay you gave it your all with this person they see the dedication that you put in the efforts that you made they think about you as that person who was there for them thick and thin no matter what they needed you they could rely on you and they've lost that. Okay, what are they feeling, please? They can't they can't let you go. They need to. They know they need to. They know that it's over. You're firm. You're decide no, no, definite no. You have made this you have made a final decision. And they cannot seem to let go. That's what spirit wants them to do, okay? Look at them still holding on, clinging to this, to the memories. Hold on to that pinnacle, cherishing it, crying, mourning over it. They can't seem to release you from their heart because it's one of those things where it's like, why is it that when, you know, you're with someone, right, who's giving it their all and truly just, you know what I mean, you can't appreciate what you have until you've lost it. It's kind of the same thing with this person. It's kind of like, why did it take you so long to, oh, now you realize what you had, now that it's gone? Why couldn't you have stepped up in the past? That's the energy that I feel with this person. They're still sitting here holding on to you in their heart. They can't let it go, okay? All right, their intentions, what they want to happen, please. They want you to maybe make a decision, okay? Um... Clarify what this is. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Some of you may have a choice to make in love. Like I so said, you could have accepted a new love, be working on something new now. Yeah. They want you to decide to weigh their offer, okay? To think about it again, to give it another chance because they still want to have this new beginning. They want to rekindle what you had, okay? They want to say what was lost. They want you to consider that okay because they know it's time to let this go they know that it's over but they just can't see that they can say it all they want to but they can't seem to apply it okay that's the thing what the actions please what can you expect from this person okay what just flipped two of wands They still want a future with you, okay, but they broke your heart, all right? They still want a future with you, and if you, like, they're going to talk a big game, all right? Like, 
you know, maybe we could have a life together. Can you just imagine, just think about it. Just think about what it would be like if we gave this another chance. I'm willing to try harder. I can see my life. You're my queen of pentacles. You know, I can see my life with you. You know, if you just, you know, I can, you know, you know they want to rekindle this. They, they could come in here kind of passionately towards you even, you know, kind of in a, in a very sexual way. But it's like, once you say no, they're like, well, I don't want to be with you anyway. You know, oh, well, you know what I mean? It's like they get really defensive because it wounds their ego. It hits their, hits that, hits that cord for them. It strikes that. And it, it's like they get very defensive, very deflective. And that's part of the issue this person's had in the past. They couldn't own up to things. They couldn't just be mature about stuff, right? So this person will try to create conflict and drama. To so just know that, be aware of that. You know, I know that a lot of you are going to be like, well, this is not the message that I want to hear. My job is not to tell you what you need to hear or what you want to hear. It's what you what you need to see, what you need to understand. I'm just the messenger. You know, if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. You'll know if it resonates because deeply in your heart, it'll feel like you're taking a key and putting it into the perfect lock. It's like, okay, that just makes sense. I knew that intuitively. It's, re it's confirming what you already intuitively knew, right? A lot of past pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal. This person could have had you in a third party situation. But you're healing. You're reaching for healing. Okay, Aquarius energy. Reaching for truth, understanding, balance, wish fulfillment. Protecting your heart now, nine of wands. Building this protective force field around yourself and not allowing this person to penetrate your energy. The tower came in, Scorpio energy. And things kind of crumbled. The foundation of the situation crumbled. Okay, Now this person's rushing back in, air energy. And they want to be truthful. They want to be honest. They want to try now. But you've moved on, okay? You're manifesting, reaching for something new, for positivity in your life. Gemini, Virgo, energy, okay? This is you, knowing what you want. And I feel like this person you're dealing with is a master manipulator, and they know what to say to pull at your heartstrings, to try to, get, to win you back. I don't feel like you want to pass, and I feel like you are firmly standing your ground and saying no. They don't want to hear that. And that's not what the message you want to hear, but that's what I'm here to tell you. They don't want to hear that. But I don't feel like that matters. I feel like you're just kind of standing in your strength now. Protect yourself. Okay. All right. Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. They feel like you guys have been on this roller coaster for such a long time that it's only a matter of time before you're willing to take them back. It's only a matter of time they're willing to offer permanence. Maybe money. They're maybe willing to, you know, well, I could help you financially, or I could be there for you, or we could start off as friends, or, you know, we could just kind of have a casual thing. They're trying to get their way back in here to kind of build that with you and open that door again. To set outdated thinking condition or playing events over in their head they were playing everything they're thinking about the past man wasn't it amazing when that queen of pentacles was the gemini was there for me wasn't it amazing when you know i could come home and I'd depend on you and dinner was made or you know you remembered all the little things about me that that mattered that i just overlooked in the past right that's that energy some of you though you've moved on you just you're just not focused on the past Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Like I say, this person's going to try to win you back. And there, I mean, some, some of you, you may still have feelings for this person. Okay. Some of you may still be in love with them, but this person was very toxic. Okay. And I, and I want to say for some of you, this could have been years ago. Okay. And this person has always tried to come back in here. And instead of just like being real, growing up, you know what I'm saying? Maturing emotionally being more expressive you know giving making serious efforts they came in here tried to like you know play on like the attraction the chemistry the two of you had you know trying to kind of flirt with you or you know that kind of thing make all these promises they couldn't keep now we do have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun this is you kind of doing your own thing right now Focusing on what you need to do. I'm not allowing this person to tempt me back into this kind of situation because you know where it's going to lead again. This is, I feel like, a very um, specific message, so it's not going to resonate for every single one of you. Please check your other placements if that's the case, okay? Um, this week, I feel like this was a very important message that needed to come through, so I hope that whoever's message this was, that it resonated and brought you some clarity, okay? I want to thank those of you who have sent in donations. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much to those of you who have joined my channel membership.
I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.